Hey guys, this is Ko Wishart. Today we're going to be continuing with the platformer series. So we're going to make it a scrolling platformer today. First, we need to create a new project. I'm going to make a level. You're going to have to like make it. So it's basically like just a bunch of rectangles everywhere. And then we can like add some obstacles. Yeah. And then finally add an end. Like I'll make it this bluish color. Okay. Now we need to create our player. Let's create it. Uh how about a green? Okay, that should be good. And first, to start it off, we need to make a block called run. Run without screen or fresh. We need to make a block. Wait, oops, we did that. And now, we're going to need to make two variables. Y and X. And then we need to change Y by negative 1. And now we're gonna do if key right arrow pressed. Then we need to change x by one. And now we're going to need to duplicate. And this changes to negative one, changes to left there. And now we're gonna need to set x. We need a multiplication bracket. X times 0 0.9 to add friction. And now we need to change x by x. And then if touching color, where is it? There it is. Black. Then we need to change Y by one. Oops, there. And we need to repeat this five times. Well, technically six, and on this sixth one, or it has to be negative five. And then we need to change x by we need a multiplication symbol. We need negative one right here, and then x. Now we need an if else statement. If up arrow pressed. Then we're gonna need to set y to 16. And then we're gonna be make it able to wall jump, so we're gonna add an if else. We need a less than, I mean greater than, if x is greater than zero, then we're gonna set x to negative 10. But this is supposed to be y. Be 10. And then right here is supposed to be 0. And at the very bottom, change y by y. And now we can use this if touching color black. We're going to need to change y. 
We need a multiplication. And then that's going to be negative 1. And then set y to 0. Now I'll change y by negative 1. Duplicate this. Change this to 16. Throw this back out. And then 1. And then we need two variables. Scroll x and scroll y. We can unshow all of these. And then we need an if statement. And an and. If key up arrow pressed, we're going to need to set y to 16. And now we're going to need a change y school x. We need this one for school y too. Multiplication sign, boom, boom. X position and Y position, and negative one. This. There is not. This is wrong. Okay. Yeah. And then go to zero, zero. And then if touching, what is it? Okay, there. Sprite 2, wait, no, not Sprite 2. If touching color that reddish, then we're going to need to set scroll X and scroll Y. We're going to start with 670 here. And 200 here. And now we're going to need an if. But also here. We're going to need an or statement. Or. We're going to need a less than scroll. I mean greater than. If scroll y is greater than 700. And now we're gonna need an if statement. We're gonna need this new variable called level. You can hide it and then over here if touching color that blue. And now time to code our level. We're gonna need a Wimbledon flag is clicked and we can have two levels. And then we're just going to boom. When we're in five is clicked, we're going to switch to costume three. I'm going to just name these costume one and costume two. I mean one and two. And I'm going to change it so you can see a difference in between them. I'm going to make it like that. But okay. Bring in five is clicked. Switch to costume three. Set size to 200. And then we need to switch back to one. 
we need to set level to one and set scroll X, scroll Y to zero, and we also need to set Y and X to zero. And then forever go to scroll X and scroll Y. And also switch to costume level. Let's see. What? Oh, yeah. When green flag is clicked, we forgot to run our run script. Looks like we didn't spawn far enough. Oh wait, this is supposed to be 670. This is supposed to be 200. Oh, oops, we just spawned a bit too far. 650, would that work? Let's make it like good. So how about 600? That should work. Yeah. So what happens when you change these two, both the 602? Now we can try to beat it. So let's see what happens if we die. Okay. Wait, did we just fall through the level? Oh, no, we did. Okay. Now I'll try to beat it. Where is it? Oh, I missed it. It's over there. Yep, and it works. And that is how you make a scrolling platformer game in Scratch. One more thing I'm going to be doing now is shout outs. And today I have one big shout out and it is to Wolfie Gaming 0015.